Hello everyone and welcome back to the DinoCell Heritage performance. Today we have a uh, EP912 STI engine sitting on the dyno. We've done a couple of pulls and some uh, boost and fuel setting and we are right where we want with the uh, horsepower, 155.7 horsepower. As you can see we have a very uh, nice and linear power band. Um, the power and the torque are very parallel and uh, torque just keeps increasing with RPM which is really nice most engines they typically roll over on the torque right about here so really happy with that um, today we're doing some um, some testing and tuning with the uh, lambda closed loop function and what it allows us is to um, use the already existing lambda sensor to make fine corrections to meet our AFR target or set point. So what I'll be demonstrating now is that uh, I'll set the engine up to 80 kPa or 80% load, 5000 RPM. Uh, and here you can see the uh, air fuel ratio set point, and this is our actual reading. So we'll get the engine up to this cell. And what you'll see is if I change the AF target from say 13 to 14 or 14 to 15, going to see the ratio follow the set point target which is done automatically by the closed loop function so I'll bring the power up and uh, demonstrate for you guys okay so power is set we're currently making 65 horsepower so we can obviously see our set point is right around 13 and that's what our air fuel ratio is. We'll tell it to make 14 to 1 AFR now and you can see that air fuel ratio changes instantly. 14.5 and there we go, it just follows along just nicely. Set it 12 to 1. Instant change, 13, 14, 15, 15. So I'll bring the power back down here again. Uh, also, being that the O2 sensor um, are prone to failing, especially for those flying on leaded avgas, uh, which is really not recommended. Uh, in the event the sensor would fail, the uh, ECU would detect that and it would continue to run off of our base fuel map, uh, which is slightly more conservative than our AFR target table. So a failed sensor wouldn't even cause any damage or harm, it would just put us slightly richer to keep us nice and safe and it will obviously trigger a closed loop or O2 sensor alarm. Also we have mapped the uh, limp home functions for throttle position. Uh, so all of these numbers have been dialed in so that we can run the engine through the entire RPM and TPS range without the TPS sensor connected. So basically what it does is if the TPS sensor was to fail the engine would continue to run with the same exact air fuel ratio numbers as without. Uh, we've obviously done the same for our, uh, sorry that was the manifold pressure for the TPS as well. We made a limp home table so that in case the TPS fail it will still continue to run off of preset values and obviously back to the manifold pressure where we actually started off. Um, we also have correction values that will ensure that if we disconnect or the uh, manifold pressure sensor were to fail, uh, we could continue to operate safely until we get down to a suitable place to land. So that's all for this one. Hope to see you guys soon and we'll be back with another tech video soon. See ya!